10,000 metres above Antarctica, a rare total solar eclipse watched by those who think they're in heaven. It is the most spectacular natural phenomenon, or any kind of phenomenon, man-made or natural, that exists anywhere on Earth. Oh, is that gorgeous? Beautiful! That was stupendous, absolutely wonderful, beautiful corona, prominences, better than sex. And welcome to Totality 2003. Nine hours earlier, they'd gathered at Melbourne Airport, 110 of them known as Umbrophiles, ecleptomaniacs or eclipse chasers from all around the world. I'm Tucson, Arizona. Well, we came from Hong Kong, of Berkeley, California. Antarctica was the only place where this solar eclipse could be seen, and this Qantas charter, one of only two planes in the world to track it. They paid up to $10,000 a seat. No matter where, no matter when, we'll find a way to get there. Indeed, this flight only came after extreme pressure from the eclipse junkies, according to Croydon Travel's Phil Asker. Well, we started planning the eclipse flight four years ago when eclipse enthusiasts from around the world started contacting us. We said we had a surge of emails from eclipse enthusiasts all over the world. Over the icy continent and the ecliptomaniacs start to prepare for their moment out of the sun. The moon totally eclipses the sun only once every 16 months. These guys make every second count. Uh, I've seen around 15 eclipses. I've seen seven. This is my seventh. Well, this would be my 37th eclipse. As the plane nears the dark zone, the eclipse visible for 2 minutes and 37 seconds, many like New York gynecologist Joel Moskowitz admit they're just plain addicts. You'll hear oohs and ahs and screaming and words like beautiful, gorgeous throughout the town. And at the end, you'll hear someone yell, do it again. <laughs> and he was right. For the eclipse chasers, pure solar bliss. The magic moment just at the end. The diamond ring, they call it. This was perfect. It was as good as it gets. No total eclipse has been seen by humans before this one over Antarctica. The last one in 1985 was seen by nobody. This is eclipse chasing history. The mood afterwards was like winning a World Cup. The experienced chasers even paraded their own flag. The 2003 total eclipse. First time eclipse chaser Ben Bigelow from Melbourne says, now he gets it. Much brighter, much more colourful and much better than uh, I could have ever expected. It's magnif truly magnificent and something everyone should do at least once in their life. The next total solar eclipse will be in April 2005, visible only from the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, 1,000 kilometres from the nearest land. Once again, it's a tough assignment, but already the eclipse chasers say they can't wait. I mean, people might think, never seeing an eclipse before, these people must be nuts to travel so far. You know, they must be kooks, but we're not. We're mostly professional people. A lot of us are in the field. But when somebody gets to see it for the first time, they understand. In fact, they become one of us. <laughs> 